I did a video on my channel on the Project Debut Pro turntable and Hegel's V10 Phono stage as a beginner video for people that want to get into vinyl. Never tried it myself. And this is a follow up to that, again for beginners, because I wanted to check out MC cartridges. And in this respect, because the Project Debut Pro only comes with an MM Picket Pro cartridge, that's the standard cartridge you get a collaboration between Autophon and Project. And this video, I'm only keeping it to my thoughts and experiences. I'm not going heavily into technical details and also some of the things I found interesting as well. But in this very, very quick video, firstly, just to give a shout out to the products I'm trying, I have Autophon's Quintet Blue MC cartridge, retails for £389 and also Manunta's Evo Phono 3 Phono Stage they are part of M2 Tech and operate a direct selling model online. This Phono stage is part of the same line as the Evo DAC3 that I reviewed in a previous video. So this unit in the UK retails for £622. It fluctuates in price because I think it's moving with the rate of exchange and you have to go on their website to check that out and see where you are. There's a wall warp power supply that comes with it. It has MM and MC stages to it with connections and settings for MM and MC. RCA inputs and outputs. There's no XLR balanced outputs on this one. And it's reasonably well made and looking for its price, if not luxurious. Also note at the back, the ground connection screw, obviously fairly typical for phono stages. The MC impedance pot for adjusting MC gain for MC cartridges. Then you've got a remote control which is standard across the range. Basic but functional. There's also settings for subsonic filter. And at the front you'll notice the little LED lights to designate the inputs and also the settings for MM and MC cartridges. They're nicely aligned in this kind of V shape which is quite pleasing. So if you're trying vinyl like me, one of the first things to get used to is the lack of resolution against the digital playback chain. And that really plays to trying MC cartridges. And the reason that they tend to produce more detail is because they operate at higher frequencies due to the fact that the copper coil windings on the cantilever have less mass than the magnets do of a corresponding MM cartridge. Therefore, they can move quicker to a higher frequency and that corresponds to higher frequency sound. I think that judging the temperature of the market, most people seem to say, I mean, obviously there's gonna be exceptions, that MC cartridges produce a more delicate and articulate sound against the sort of more tonally thicker bass responsiveness and more impactful sound of the higher voltage MM outputs. And that's kind of really what I found trying this cartridge and something that I way preferred over the Picket Pro cartridge that comes as standard, as I say. And that's because I'm more sensitive to detail in hi-fi than probably anything else. I mean, if you don't have detail in your hi-fi and you can't hear everything in the music, what's the point? But Autophon say that this comes with a nude diamond stylus, which is a shaped piece of diamond that's glued straight onto the cantilever. There is a sense, I think, of just way more space and air in the lower treble frequency bands compared to the Picket Pro's more smoothed, tonally thicker approach, which I just way more appreciated. But at the same time, keeping all that lovely mid-range quality that vinyl is known for with this Quintet Blue. And I found that particularly the case when I tried Late Night Tales' movie soundtrack album, which is such a lovely album. Can heartily recommend it. They also say in the user guide for the Quintet series, which I've got here, that it adds more dynamics and resolution, sounds more open and reproduces more details in their kind of list of how the different cartridges in the series differ. And I definitely can agree with that, as well, at least relative to the Picket Pro. This cartridge is actually only nine grams, which I think is gonna make it easy to balance. And it uses a diamond stylus, which is the hardest substance known to man. So it's gonna mean 
that it's not going to wear out as much. A quick recap of this cartridge for anyone who wants to know more specific details about it. I did actually find fitting this is quite a fiddly process because you're using tweezers or pliers in order to exert forces to fit the plugs. And you almost feel like if you exert too much force, you're gonna rip one of the plugs off or you know break one of the wires. So if you're not particularly good with your hands and not very good at delicate things, I'd recommend getting someone to do this for you. I'm not gonna show you taking the plugs off or putting them back on again since I fitted this because I just don't wanna go through that process again. But I would have liked it, I think, if they'd maybe considered giving you some form of tool, maybe on like a hydraulic system, if that's commercially available, that allows you to apply the right amount of force to putting the plugs on and then taking them off again. As I say, I don't know whether you can get that, but I think that probably would save people a lot of trouble in trying to fit this, because I suspect a lot of people who fit these cartridges end up going wrong in whipping wires and whipping plugs and so on. So as far as the performance of these phono stages go, I did find that the Evo Phono 3 seems to fit its price quite well. It's nowhere near the performance of the Hagel V10 though, but I'm not gonna go into full descriptives about sound quality in this particular video, not least the fact that obviously you have to swap out all the cables and settings and ground connections, it takes some time to do that between comparisons so there's you know you can place less reliance upon doing accurate sound quality comparisons between one and the other and also how much of it is the cartridge that's involved that said though i would say that with these phono stages relatively speaking they're operating at their price levels of resolution expansiveness and sound stage and openness all those things you get as you upgrade and that was certainly the case when I was playing them back through my traditional and as ever featured PMC Hagel H390 system. But so far as this Quintet Blue V10 and Debut Pro system is concerned, there is very wide sounding, low noise and luxurious qualities to the music with levels of resolution that are good for vinyl playback. It's going to take a lot for me to go off liking the digital playback chain more at comparable prices for reasons like dynamic transients and the level of resolution that you get in music. Having said that though, with regard to vinyl, for reasons like the fact that there's been a vinyl resurgence, you can only get certain music on vinyl, and these qualities of sound with vinyl, it would be a very, very brave person to suggest or state that vinyl isn't worthy. Thanks very much for watching.